were sacks, how key were those, especially the one where Arden got the ball out of the short field? There you go. You know what I mean? Just trying to, you know, play complimentary football, which looked like we did in the first half, was, was really cool. Um, great job getting the football out. Um, thought we had, you know, pressure. And again, that, you know, give, you know, give uh, Bryce some credit. You know, I mean, he scrambled around. He was able to convert and help them. You know, and we couldn't contain him all the time, but we were able to get to him sometimes as well. And, you know, huge play it there at the end to, to win it on, on defense when they, you know, went to the screen there uh, on the check. On the touchdown drive, Will completed passes to five different receivers. How much do you like to see that spreading the ball around? Just like him to throw to the guy that's open. That's the most important thing. Jalen Duncan in his first start, left tackle. How do you feel he did? I know it was a sack by Burns, but overall... I uh, you know, have to be able to take a look at the tape. I, I don't have the best view of the left tackle, you know. But I felt like, you know, at least it was a start. And again, it probably had some good plays in there. It was, you know, great his effort and see if he was finishing and competing. And uh, you know, again, it's a great place to start. It was a great opportunity. You know, that's good ed edge rushers and, and good interior players. So, you know, good place to start for Jalen. Play concluded it wasn't perfect, but how good just to win again? And just you know. great. And fan, you know, I mean, put a lot into it. I'm happy for the players, you know, happy for the coaches and our fans and, you know, organization and everybody included. It's, you know, you put a lot into it every week, and these games are, are tough, they're tight, they're close, and, you know, a few plays make the uh, make the difference. And, you know, would have liked to end it on offense there in a, in a four minute drive, but, it's great to see the defense come out and, and, and end it themselves. What's the to will on the pressure How front for you guys to be able to build on this? Just stop beating ourselves. Start there, you know. Penalties on offense, MEs, third down penalties or quarterback scrambles, you know. So start there. You had mentioned complimentary football earlier. That stretch where you had the 71 yard punt by Stonehouse, key strip sack, and then Henry's touchdown. Is that the best example of how you guys could really? Well, that? you know, I mean, that's a great another great example. The other great example is right after that is, you know, they're trying to to get some yards there and, and try to kick a field goal, and we stop them, force them to punt. We don't have any timeouts. They took our last timeout there with the injury, and uh, offensively, we, you know, we 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 could turn that into three points and it executed a down down clock uh, in 11 seconds. Great execution there by our guys, and a great kick by Nick. So that that's probably the, those two great examples. We just need more of them. Why did that timeout come off with like the incomplete pass? What does the rule say there? To it's just an injury timeout underneath two minutes. If they would have kept the the penalty, the injury timeout would have occurred because of a penalty. You know they didn't feel like it was whether defenseless or forcible contact to the head or neck. I mean, you know they picked the flag up. So. Once that came out, and there's an injury timeout under two minutes, you have to talk to Ron. I'm, I think they're across the hall. One play that Spears play, would the defender keep his head up? I, I, again, I saw one quick replay, and I didn't think that this the launch door, you know. So those are bang bang plays. I don't. I, I didn't see a player that that launched in a linear position. Um, you know, I'm sure they saw the same thing. I'm not. I didn't see the replay other than quickly on the, the film. So you don't have a huge debate with the way it was officiated? I, I'm not, what am I going to debate? You know, I mean, they pick flags up, they throw flags. I, whatever it is, we got to overcome it. We overcame it on third down. Um, you know, we've, we've had probably six third down conversions by penalty the last two weeks, so there's not much to debate. What motivation does this give going into next, next Sunday's game? <clears throat> motivation. I hope we're motivated every week. You know, it was professional football. I mentioned Mike Mike the way you closed out the first half, uh, getting in position for a field goal. It was just fun to watch all those stuff that we talk about and cover and show and watch. You know, that'll be us on the Friday tape this week, you know, with the situational football well executed. Um, and, and it was great. You know, they changed their look. They called timeout, changed their look, went back into a different play, different defense, had the sideline covered. Um, and, and, our, and, and Will and the offense changed their play at the, the line of scrimmage, allowed for us to, to get inside and, uh, and, and got Nick down there to, to get lined up for the field goal. What 
What was the explanation that they gave you on the challenge? Because it looked like the ball was on the ground as he was going down. Didn't have a clear view. And, uh, you know, I just thought on fourth down that it was probably worth the challenge. I saw what I saw and, you know, they just said they didn't have a good look at it to well, overturn it. You went forward on fourth and one and you're only 30 early. It, you, we're trying to maybe create a spark and I'd like to, how the team respond to that. Well, it was great, you know, to be able to go down there and, and convert, you know, and turn those into points. Darren, you do a better job today of being more efficient on his plays and leaning on that defense over the course of four quarters? Derek? Yeah. Henry? I mean, we just got to, you know, block better. Like, I don't know, like, efficient like, on his plays. I'm not what sure what that means. What like mean? He said last week that he didn't feel like he was being as efficient as he could. On he'll, his he'll come up here and you'll be able to ask him about his efficiency. I'm going to tell you that, you know, we got to block better and, and, and run better. Um, but when there was some space, you know, I mean, it was cool in the four minute there. It was fantastic. Um, you know, and then other, we just get, again, we just got to get them started, you know, and, and not beat ourselves with negative yardage runs and, you know, whether they pressure and, you know, we have to be ready for it. But, you know, we hit them, hit them there on a run. You know, I had a couple of nice ones where I hit them on the touchdown run where they kind of pressured, moved, spiked, and, you know, he went out the back door. And then, you know, had the long one there in the start of uh, four minute. But then again, we stalled and, and weren't able to finish up. So it's just the consistency, I think, probably with, you know, that. And, you know, Derek and, you know, again, he, he wants to, to impact the game. You know, I know that. And, uh, and we want to let him. Proud of him. You know, the career that he's had thus far, you know, 9,000 yards, you know, need 10,000. Colts, Colts I should come down next next uh, Sunday. What's the uh, plan there with that with that divisional team? The plan? What's the, what's, what's the game 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 plan going into that? Uh, hopefully, win, uh, prepare. I'll, I'll know more of the game plan here as we work through. But knowing it'll be a physical contest in in the division, um, you know they were able to run the football on us last time, and, and we um, and we stalled in the red zone. And so that's that's those are things that, off the top of my head, that we'll need to get fixed. In a, in a, in a I would imagine a, a closely contested divisional game. Do you think some doubt had crept into some guys, and and is there a little bit of a sense of relief out of kind of knowing, hey, we can do this? I mean, I think that you just get you know frustrated. Um, you know, again, we just put a lot into it. And uh, I don't think there's doubt. You know, I mean, it just you know, we got to eliminate bad football. We got to eliminate the the penalties, the X plays, uncover guys, the penalties. Uh, you know, third down that extend drives, and you know, because our good is is good enough to win. I know that. I've seen it, and I believe in it. It's just the you know the unfortunate mistakes that that cost uh, cost you points and, and cost you you know more possessions. You were in the red zone today. I know you need to get there more, but, but you got the points when they were at hand. Yeah, and again, we, we hit a long one, and then we grinded out, you know, one down there close. So uh, great play from the high red for, you know, Chig to come through and make a great catch and, and a great throw. Um, got us into the one, and then uh, you know, we were able to punch it in. Clendon was someone who started on the defensive line today. For someone like him and uh, some other younger guys on the offensive and defensive side, how does this last kind of stretch prove as an opportunity for them to, you know, show what they're made of? Every time we practice and especially every time we play, those are opportunities, you know, to show your team and your coaches and your teammates that you know what to do and you, know, you play it up to the standard that, uh, that we expect. Um, so, yeah, these are good opportunities uh, for him and for everybody. And we just, you know, it, like Colton Dow, for example. I mean, it's really, really cool to see him impact the game uh, on, on special teams. And I know that he'll continue to work hard, you know, to carve out a role on offense uh, when we need it. But, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a fantastic uh, job from a young player, uh, a young receiver that uh, you know, took it, you know, took his job and his role uh, very seriously and, and knew the challenge that he had with, you know, their special teams guys with, with Franklin and, 
you know, be able to go down there, come to balance, tackle inside the 10 on a punt, and factoring on a kickoff. So those are all really, really cool, positive things. No, I mean, just, you know, I'm talking and just making sure that we were good on some of the pick routes and stuff that, that we thought may come in that down a distance. Um, you know, quarterback check to a slip screen there, and, you know, guys looked like guys were running to the football, and I think Hook was able to, to secure the tackle. It was just a great effort right there. How did you manage to take Thielen out of the game, and was that one of the keys coming in? It was a key. You know, it was a key, and, you know, we were able to put some guys around him on third down. You know, that's kind of where he'd had – you know, 30 some targets, 30 of his targets were on third down. And, you know, they did a nice job. And, you know, whether we challenged them and had a couple yard um, completions there, but, um, you know, we just, again, we just have to be better. Um, just being able to, you know, Christian Fulton had a good, you know, he had a holding penalty earlier, DPI, whatever it may be, came back and tried to hit him on a post. We got a sack and, Shark came back and ran into him, and Christian was square, standing right by the official, and he let him go. So, again, as long as we're learning from things and, and understanding uh, what we have to do, you know, it's whatever happens early in the game, it happens, and it's over with, and we got to move on and then, you know, keep playing and continue to factor. Last one. build on this. Yeah, just the, the win is a win, and talk about how hard winning in this league is, and those are ones, that's one where it kind of feels like, you didn't, you know, but um, we got it and we got to keep building on it and keep rolling from there. I mean, it's the first time in a while I feel like we got to win, so it's a, it's a good feeling. How much required to build on it when you guys are in these situations and, and have some momentum? What, what, do you, what do you need to put together here? I mean, just continuing the, the, the keys that we've been talking about these past few weeks and even today, like, we did better probably in the first half, but in the second half, just examples of us just shooting ourselves in the foot and, um, I need to do a better job of just operating the offense and putting us in an easier spot so that we're not, you know, setting ourselves back. So um, a couple of third downs, just a couple opportunities for us to extend drives, which uh, I wasn't able to do for us today. But, I mean, just got to just key in on those moments and make sure that we can operate in those situations. Well, well, getting in and out of the huddle is, you know, one of the keys. How do you feel you guys did that? Uh, yeah, that? No, I thought we did a good job of, of getting in the call quick, getting in the huddle quick and getting out quick. Not so much the operational part of it, though. Like I think just on me, like we had a we had a cadence issue in, on the, on the last drive that put us in a bad spot, um, which I could have helped us by just getting things going a little faster. And um, for the most part, though, I thought we did a good job, and we got to continue to continue to do that and use it as a weapon. Do you think any degree of doubt had crept in because you guys haven't played well? And is there some sense of relief or reestablishment that comes with with this win? Yeah, I mean, I just uh, I talked to the guys today about. You know, we just we got to get our juice back. We got to just get our mojo back, and it's it's tough. Walk, it's tough, tough these past few weeks looking around after games and just seeing the looks in dudes' eyes of dudes that we all know are dogs, and just got guys go out there and have done this year in and year out, um, and to just let's regain that confidence today, which I think getting the win uh, alone uh, was enough to do that, and hopefully we can keep that rolling and get these guys' confidence up going into Indy. How much did it help when you go through that on that first touchdown drive and you're kind of in a, in a good rhythm and you're Completing ball to different guys and getting them involved. How much did that kind of help change the mindset and get it get it rolling? Yeah, I mean that was awesome. I mean it was what seventeen play drive something like that. That was I think we ran more plays in that drive than we did in the second half. But it was uh, those are the types of drives that you know brings up the entire stadium. You know defense, offense, special teams, the fans. Like when you're able to you know just capitulate down the field like that and just then finish it. Like uh, I mean that's the best feeling in ball to just finish a drive like that. The coach went for a little over the 30, and I like plays like that. Has that helped kind of get the juice going? Like I was so the- glad we did because, um, you know, it's, we, we had messed up, and I, I, I had done something that could have put us in a better spot if I hadn't on the third down or on the second down or the third down before the penalty. <clears throat> and then to get that close on that play, uh, that's obviously a risky situation, but I'm, I'm for it, obviously. Well, your uh, third down numbers today weren't really all that good. What do you guys need to do better on third down to, to convert more? Yeah, I mean, looking back, uh, for me, I think t- this was the first game where I had more than a couple at least location issues in terms of just accuracy, um, which, you know, I'm just just got to keep working and, and know that I can make those throws. But a couple third down opportunities where I had someone and I just missed the throw. And then maybe one or two where I could have gone somewhere else with the ball, but, I mean, 
the location. I got to just trust that I'm going to make those throws and that they'll come next time. How about Jalen Duncan's first start? How did you kind of notice him protecting you there? Yeah, I was, I was on him all week, just you know, getting, getting his confidence up, and uh, I was his demeanor and just how he went out there and played. I was I was uh, very happy for him and um, gave him a good hug after the games because that's that's huge. Any way to explain well the uh, you know four zero at home now and still haven't found a way to win on the road? No, I guess we got good fans. <laughs> though for you guys on offense at home, isn't it? Yeah, well, definitely operationally just with the noise. Um, but even today, like I feel like in terms of the operational mistakes we had this week compared to last week, um, it was pretty similar, even though we were at home, which is interesting to think about. But uh, again, just got to hone in on those things. It's one by seven, but how important maybe were those three before the half and how, how you like how you executed that? Yeah, that was sweet. I mean, to get points there. Uh, we, to stall out on the two-minute drive before it and then to get another crack at it uh, with just you know, some, something like 30 seconds left. Like, that was cool to, to you know, that they had the trust in us to go out there and try to make something happen. Um, we had a couple plays dialed up and a couple guys who we weren't really thinking of that could be getting it ended up getting it. Um, the one right before half was nice because they pretty much knew what we were running and we still converted on it. So it's cool. Should ask Spears. I should ask uh, Michael. And Spears, I guess, took a knee, you know, 15 yards maybe behind the line of scrimmage. Was that him being smart, getting down, or, or did you? What, you, what are you talking that? about? Sorry. I guess right before the end of the half, he took a knee before on the spot. Oh, just I mean, it's, he's doesn't need to be anywhere specifically in that formation. If we knows we're clocking it, he can just stay. So that's just him being a heads-up player. Yeah. As you said, you know, win is a win, but it's a little frustrating. The second half, you guys weren't able to get it. Going yeah, no, I mean, we were just, we were stagnant all second half, which is tough. But uh, I mean, we gotta just focus on watch the film and and, and learn from it. But uh, to have a first half like that, and to have and to to play complementary football with the defense, and to have that great feeling at halftime, to then roll out and just kind of be meh for the rest of the game, uh, it's unacceptable. We gotta be able to keep it rolling and you know keep putting our foot on gas and uh, and finish these types of games out. No, I, I literally heard it yesterday. I think Brian was the first person. He was like, Stoops to a and eh? And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. But, um, yeah, I guess now he's staying. But, I mean, I, I got to talk to him. I, I, I'm, I'm out of the, out of the uh, you know, whatever on that one. Every time you turn around and hand the ball up to Derrick Henry, he gets to the end zone. He's climbing up the, the board. He's now 17. How cool is that to, you know, be associated with the guy that's continuing to do what he does. It's so cool. I mean, <clears throat> and he's one of the dudes I was talking about earlier with I was saying with getting our getting our swagger back. Like, I mean, he's one of the most gifted people to ever touch the rock. And for him to be on this offense and for me to be able to hand the ball off to him and watch him run uh, is a pleasure. And when you get him, when you get him rolling, there's not, not many people that can stop him. So uh, it was good to get him in the end zone a couple times today, get his confidence up. I mean, I still think, you know, he's definitely hard on himself and knows that he could, he and we could have done a better job just running the ball offensively. But I mean, he's going to, this is going to motivate him to, you know, get us ready for next week and get those guys up front rolling for him. How oh, step forward can this be for Chig? I mean, he finally, he finally got things going a little bit. Yeah, shoot. We, I wish we would have gotten him that, that score. I think he was still in. I don't know why they didn't review that, but don't, re, don't reach the ball next time, Chig. But that was, um, it was cool to, to get him. You know, some burn, and um, he's he's a guy that we got to get the ball in the hands, er, get the ball in his hands for. Uh, he's explosive. He's not many people at his position that can run and, and move the way he does. So, um, understanding his strengths and finding ways to get him the ball is going to be important for us. It seems like when you guys have some of those negative plays that get you behind the down and distance, the play calling can go a little more conservative. Some screen passes, some run plays. You obviously have a lot of confidence in yourself and want opportunities to take shots. How do you balance wanting those chances to throw the ball down the field while also trying to take you know, what your coaches are giving you? Uh, yeah, I'm just taking my coaching. I'm um, seeing the game and reading it out as we see fit. Uh, and I try to do a good job of knowing when you, know, you can go a little off schedule and, 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 and see things and be confident, but not, you know, not reckless with, with types of throws. So uh, I mean, I'm, just, I'm just operating the game plan. And um, I wouldn't say off the top of my head that I could really say that I'd agree with you in that statement in terms of just the, um, I don't know if I forget the word you use, but uh, yeah, I mean, love taking shots on the field, but you got to know when to. And uh, today there were some opportunities that I could have hit that I either missed the throw or, or didn't make the decision to, um, but got to learn from it because there are big plays out there for us to be made. Brian got a little bit of clock there near the end. I mean, didn't keep it the whole way, but, but to run out some of the clock, how important was that there? 
Yeah, just being in four minute, um, trying to get a lot of time off the clock as much as we can, um, and just trying to um, move the ball downfield so we can keep the ball and keep it out of their hands. It was coming for a long time. What it meant to you to cross the 9,000 yard rushing threshold for your career and, and to do it in a win? Um, yeah, uh, extremely blessed. Um, thankful uh, to be able to make it this far. Um, thankful for the, the players and coaches that my, my teammates helped me get to this point. And, um, you know, I'm just blessed. And um, I, as a kid, you know, wanting to be able to play this game as, as long as I can. So I'm just thankful. You moved up a couple spots in career rushing touchdowns and now one behind Marshawn Litch. How much does that mean, you know, to be able to get into the top 20, you know, at number 17 overall? Yeah, um, it's a blessing. I um, uh, grew up watching Marshawn um, admire his game, um, the, the, the way he played. Um, and, um, you know, just uh, a blessing to be able to uh, get to that list and um, get to where I'm at. And just thankful for the people that helped me. I can assume where you, I guess, with Ty when he took that big hit on their sideline and it seemed like you came to his defense a little bit. Were you not liking what you were hearing as far as the chatter or what was, what was going on over there? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that uh, he was okay. Um, he took a big hit. Um, I just seen a lot of guys over there chatting, wanting to see what the commotion was about and, and checking on him. And I'm always going to come to his defense um, in that situation. Get pretty tough kid, bounce back from that, come back and play? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, um, thank, we, I think you've seen that when he was at Tulane. You know, he's, he's tough. Uh, he works hard. Um, um, and, you know, he took a shot right there, but I was glad he was okay to be able to get back in the game. That's like Brady were going forward with fourth and one early, and did that provide some kind of spark early for you guys? Um, yeah, you know, I think Coach was just trying to be aggressive, uh, get us into a drive, get a spark going on offense so we can end the points. Um, we were all for it and excited that we were able to convert it. A couple of guys said it's kind of inevitable for some degree of doubt to creep in when things aren't going well and for – Confidence to rebound with a, with a win like today. You feel like that that kind of an accurate assessment. And how much does today kind of bring you guys back to to a good feeling about yourself? Um, yeah, I mean it's always uh, positive. A lot of good things to build off of when you get a win. Um, and you know, uh, you know, put things in in the right direction. Um, and you know, r remain positive. Um, feel like guys uh, play hard today. Um, um, try to do whatever they can to help us win. I'm um, glad we were able to get in the win column. It's been a little while. And, um, you know, just, just build off that momentum going into next week in the division game. I know you try to keep guys up when things aren't going well, but did you feel guys getting down as, as things were not so good? I think guys were just um, hungry to, to, to get something going and um, to, to, to make something happen um, when stuff wasn't happening. I don't think no guys had doubt. I think guys were just – ready to get it going just so you know we can move the ball downfield and um, both sides of the ball, everybody making plays. Constantly play in guys' ears, pushing them through the week. Just anything different this week, sitting at three and seven, needing to you know make the most of this last seven games? No, I think guys are just um, uh, just ready to win. I think that was just the main focus is getting the win column, um, and that's – you know, been the whole emphasis all week. Let's just win the game, have a great week of practice, and let it translate on Sunday, and then go out there and execute and play the way we want to play. For guys like Teje and then maybe you know the two rookies you have blocking for you on the offensive line, how do you feel like this last stretch of the season could be a good moment for them to kind of prove themselves and also get you guys success? Oh um, yeah, I mean just a hell of an opportunity for those guys to get in. Um, um, and, and, and show what they can do um, and, and keep building um, as the season goes on. And then, um, you know, just also building for the future and um, getting in position and, and doing whatever they can to help us win. Um, Hell opportunity for them and excited to see um, what Jalen does and all the other rookies to get an opportunity. How do you like their performance today? I felt, he, I felt they played, played great. Um, 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 I'm going to focus on what, what I did and how I played. I mean, I felt like those guys uh, tried to do the best they can to, to help us win, and that's all you can hope for. How did you feel like you did? You talked earlier in the week about trying to be more effective with your touches. Did you feel some more uh, effectiveness in your carries this week? No, I don't feel like I could have done a little bit better today. Um, but just watch the film and, and grow for it, grow, grow, grow from it, um, and just uh, try to be better um, and try to work on it. 
um, as this week comes up and, you know, just try to go out there and let it translate. But I could have been better today. Two for two in the red zone. Was it as simple as being able to run the football? I think it was just getting in there. Um, you get down there, you get getting in there. And um, thankful that I was able to help us and uh, put some points on the board. But, um, you know, we were two for two, so that's good. You have been waiting for that turnover, for that quick change offense. And how big of a moment was for you guys to, to bounce on that immediately? Yeah, that was cool. Um, the defense got a turnover, and then you know, two plays later, we were able to score. So, you know, you definitely want to capitalize on things like that. I was glad we we were able to. Yeah, I think about the end of our bowl yesterday, and you should seek out guys like Darren Bates after a game like that. I, I haven't talked to Bates in a while, but uh, glad we were we were able to win. You know, that was I was about to go crazy in the house um, on that fourth and that fourth down, but. Um, uh, Bond made a big play, and uh, Milro made a hell of a throw. So, being able to dub, so I'm happy. Thanks, 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 Th